Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more topic in Automata Theory that is the removal of left recursion in productions. Right. So before going to this topic, let us know about what is a left recursion. So in our productions, there might be a chance of getting three types of recursions, left recursion, right recursion and a normal recursion. Right. So here, the recursion can be done in three ways. So one is normal recursion, left recursion, right recursion. Right. So, coming to the normal recursion, if the production is having similar to this one, right? So, A, S, B. Okay. So, whatever the variable or non terminal which is on the left hand side of the production is repeated on the right hand side of the production, then we call it as a normal recursion. Right. So, calling the same thing. So as we know in the programming language, recursion means calling the same function itself. So that is called a recursion. So here we are just giving the non-terminal which is on the left hand side on the right hand side. So this type of production we call it as a normal production, a normal recursion. And coming to the left recursion, so on the right hand side, if the non-terminal is on the leftmost, then it is called left recursion. See, for example, if it is in this format. So, if it is in this format, then we call this production as a left recursion, right? So, in this observe, you, you can observe here in this production right hand side, we are having a combination of non terminal and the terminal, and the non terminal place is on the leftmost, and the same thing is on the left hand side, okay? So, in the production, we are having some left hand side tends to right hand side, and if you use the same non terminal here. So we know that LHS will always be the non-terminal and the same non-terminal is appears on the right hand side and that is also the post, I mean the position of this non-terminal on the right hand side is the leftmost, then it is called the left recursion. And here, the if the same non-terminal is on the right hand side, rightmost, is called a right recursion, right? So this type of production we call it is a right recursion because here on the right hand side we are using the same non-terminal but the position of this non-terminal is on the rightmost right so this is the different types of recursions and here during parsing so we have constructed the parse scheme so in this parsing this can be done in two ways one is uh, top down and bottom up top down and bottom up so coming to this top down uh, parsing this left recursion is not suitable left recursion is not suitable right so there is no problem with a normal recursion and the right recursion so if it is a left recursion it is not suitable for the top down parsing so that's why we need to remove the left recursions from the production right so now we will see the procedure how we can remove the left recursion so let it be uh, the left recursion uh, alpha sorry A into alpha, right? So A, A tends to A into alpha. So if the left recursion is like this, A tends to A, A or B. So you can observe this example. So on the left hand side, we are having the non-terminal A. On the right hand side also, we are having the non-terminal in the production. And the position of that non-terminal is on the leftmost. So that's why this is called a left recursion. So we call it as a left recursion so we need to remove this left recursion because it is not suitable for the top down parsing so in order to remove this one create a one more non terminal so a dash and give the production which is not in the left recursion so here this production is not in a left recursion so use this one b a dash sorry a tends to b a dash and replace the a dash as 
So other than the recursion, give the another uh, string. That means either it, it can be having a more than one terminal or more than one non-terminal or a combination of terminal and non-terminal, whatever it may be. So here, a, this is a recursion uh, non-terminal. So other than this, use this one a a dash or epsilon. So you can simply use this process to remove the left recursion. So once again, I'm saying. So if the production is in the form of A, capital A and small a, so here capital A is a non-terminal and A is a non-terminal. And if it is the production is in this format, simply use a new production A dash. Okay, give the new non-terminal non A dash. So A tends to, so B is not in a left recursion. So B into A dash, B into A dash and A dash tends to, a dash tends to other than the not terminal which is giving a left recursion write on all the content so a and a dash with epsilon so this use this formula to remove the left recursion right so let me give you examples so that you will be understanding more right see uh, let us consider these three examples and we will uh, we'll remove the left recursion so here you can see a is the non-terminal which is on the left hand side so we need to check whether it is available in the right hand side and the position of that particular non-terminal is on the leftmost so you can observe here a okay a so that is on the leftmost right and here also it is a which is on the leftmost so we need to remove the left recursion for this particular production and here also you can observe B is a non-terminal on the left hand side and on the right hand side B is a leftmost non-terminal. So we need to remove the left recursion for both the productions. First consider this one. So A tends to A, B, D, capital A, small a and A. So if you observe here, what we have to do? So other than the left recursion, write down the productions. So A tends to A. So this is a production which is which doesn't have the left recursion. So A, A dash. And write down the A dash as other than the left recursion, not I mean the non-terminal which uh, appears in the left recursion, write, write down remaining. So here we can have the B D. So B D A dash. And here other than the left, uh, uh, I mean the non-terminal, write down the A. So A, A dash and epsilon. So this is the way we can remove the left recursion. Coming to the second one, consider the second one. B tends to uh, B, E or a B. So you can observe here, this for this also, the left, left hand side, whatever the right uh, non-terminal is available, the same non-terminal is the left to most position in the right hand side, right? So we need to remove this one. So how, what to do? First, write down B tends to write down the production which is not in the left recursion. So this B, B dash. So use another non-terminal. Now B dash and other than the non-terminal which is available in the left recursion, write down the remaining string. So here E, B dash and epsilon. So this is the production after removing the left recursion. Right. So coming to this one. And see, consider whatever the capital letters are there, the, those are called as a non-terminals. Other than that, everything will be a terminal. So you can, here you can see E is E T F. All the three are the non-terminals. And terminals are plus plus star and ID. Plus star and ID. Now you just observe. So here it is a left recursion. Here there is a left recursion. So we need to remove the left recursion for both the productions. And the third one, F tends to ID. There is that is a uh, it it uh, generating the terminal. So we we, we need not uh, focus on that one. First, let us take this one. E tends to E plus T or T. So consider the production which is not in a left recursion. So T. So E tends to T E dash. And E dash tends to, so write down the string other than the left recursion non-terminal. So other than this one, the string is plus T E dash and epsilon. Right. So this is the 
productions after they move in the left direction. Coming to the second one, consider this one T tends to T star F or F. So consider the same thing. So T tends to write down the production which is not in the left recursion. So F T dash create one non terminal. So T dash tends to write down the string other than the left recursion non terminal. So star F T dash and epsilon. So these two are the productions after removing the left uh, recursion on this. And the finally, we can simply go with F tends to ID. So this is a uh, I mean F generating the terminal, so we need not focus on that one. Coming to the third example, you can see here. So this is called an indirect, indirect way we can remove the left recursion. So consider this one. So A tends to A tends to B A A A and C. So here C is a terminal, right? So here we are having this production which is having the non-terminal and it is a left recursion because on the left hand side we are having a non-terminal A and in the right hand side also we are having a non-terminal A which is at the leftmost. So this is this production is only the left recursion. So in such case we can simply write it as A tends to we have to write the productions which are not uh, not in the left recursion. So here B A is not in the left recursion. So B A A dash or C A dash. Okay, now you have to write the production for a dash, a dash tends to, so whatever the left recursion production is there, other than the non terminal, write down the everything, so here a, a into a dash and epsilon, into a dash and epsilon, so these are the productions after removing the left recursion for this particular production. Now, if you want to represent, I mean, if you want to replace this one, okay, so just apply the a substitute a in this one so we'll get b tends to so b b and apply this one a so b a a dash b okay c a dash b and c sorry i think it's d right so hope you understood this is one, one thing and again Substitute a value, okay. Substitute a production in this production, right? So I am substituting so that again we are getting the left recursion, right? So now you apply the left recursion, remove the left recursion. So b tends to what we have to do? We have to write down the productions which are not in the left recursion. So here you can see c a dash. Sorry. So c is a terminal here, right? C a dash b b dash. And D is also the production which is not having the left recursion. So D, B dash. Now we need to write down the production for B dash. Is B dash tends to. So whatever the string that is available in the left recursion. So except the non-terminal remaining, you have to write the remaining string. So first go with the B, B dash. And accept B. So A, A dash, B, B dash, epsilon. So this is the productions after removing the left recursion for B, right? So this type of, we call it as a indirect left recursions. Okay, first we need to uh, find out this one and substitute the same thing here so that we'll get a one more left recursion. So before we are not having the two, two left recursion productions, right? We are having only one left recursion production. After substituting a value here, we are getting the one more left, left recursion sub, uh, production. So after that, we have to remove the left recursion. So hope you understood this one. So this will be useful in the next concept. So uh, just uh, practice more uh, problems for, for removing the left recursions. Right? So I will stop here. And if you are having any doubt regarding this one, how to remove the left recursions, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.